He's starting to the bottom left of the map, a former Warcraft 3 player. He was a genius. And he actually starts with a 6 4 7. Fnatic Lady Cold Moon! Yeah, it's a 7 4. Wow. The fifth race. <laughs> this is something that JYP, however, I think will prepare for. Speaking of that player, at the top left are Blue Protoss, who will likely go forwards before Nexus this game is. EG! JYP! And luckily for him, he's actually going to get s scouted in, in the correct location. Wow, this is so bad for Moon right now. Moon a little bit unlucky here. JYP, on the other hand, sends his probe out and has the... Well, has enough luck that he spots his opponent on the first position. You he know, knows exactly what's going to happen here. I get this by Moon, because who do you not want to face on this map? Specifically, it's Crank. Crank is actually some great play on this map, especially against Zerg players. And to use this means that if he beats JYP, then Crank can't just come out and use this map. And, you know, it's cool because there's no other Zergs on the team for Fnatic. You know, Pyo is the only other Zerg they would use, most likely, and, well, he's already gone, so... This is a pretty cool map choice, good build, but it, it's unfortunate that he's already scouted here. He's following it up with drones though immediately. The one thing, the advantage that you have if you start with a 7 pool over a 6 pool is that you already have the overload out, so you can straight, uh, straight away build additional units. And what Moon does here is uh, a very aggressive build and he's hoping to do some damage here, but it's not necessarily a heavy all-in. He's already following it up with, uh, with drones. And oh, and oh, he sent all of his links back. He knows this isn't going to do anything. But interestingly enough, JYP is actually going to try to hold his natural here. He's not going to try to go into the main, and his wall will allow him to do this. This is actually pretty cool. He actually doesn't follow it up with, uh, with the droning. I mean, it's kind of an all-in, of course, but the thing is, it, there are follow-ups. There are follow-ups for uh, for example, but the thing is, it relies on you making damage. And that's something that he did not really do, and he only built one drone. Is getting gas right now. He has nine drones. Yeah, he's very likely going to follow this up with Banelings. Yeah, he, he built two additional drones and will probably get Banelings. And there the it is. List, yeah. Yep. This is totally all in at this point. You know, I actually agreed with you. I thought he was going to fall up with droning and try to expand. There are a couple of strategies where you can do this. You uh, try to do damage with the early links, but you fall back into a... Uh, um, more of a macro style, but you have to do damage in order to make that work. And as he realized that he won't be able to do it, he's trying to go for a Banelink bust right now. And I actually, uh, as long as there, well, there's only one cannon, and if he plays this well, I don't know. It, it can, can work. The positioning of the cannon is behind two very heavy hit point buildings, though, in the gateway on the core. And he's not going to have speed, so he can't just bust and then run in with a bunch of speedlings, which would be strong because there's no cannon in the main base. Oh, look at this, though. The probe is totally tricked right now. The probe knows nothing about the huge group of links on the right side, and that's exactly where he's going to make his banelings. There's, of course, not going to be a sentry. He just completed his cybernetics course, so sentries will be way too late. And with five banelings, I think he'll be fine here. He can bust through this, getting a six banelings as well. He can definitely yeah. bust through this and wall. And there's no cannons except the first. Here we go, the probe is here, but it's too late. It's too late, JYP, as Moon strolls in, going straight for the cannon. Ah, oh, but the cannon is still alive, and, and the here's sentry. the sentry. But the cannon, it dies, and now the Zerglings, they move in. There is only, only Slowlings, though. He doesn't have speed. He's trying to take down the cannon. The Zerglings attack, more reinforcements coming in for Moon. The oh. Fnatic player still down in supply. The here cannon the will fall. The cannon is down. He's trying to get additional sentries. One sentry is already dead. He's attacking the second one, but the next wave of reinforcements is ages away. It is ages wow. away. And look at this. He can make another cannon now. He can finish the wall. And Moon almost succeeded. I think it, that was about as close as you could get. But a great defense by JYP pulling his probes a little bit late. But regardless, was able to hold here. He sees the second wave and he will seal the wall. Seal it. And he does. There it is. And this is... This is basically it with the second sentry coming up. Moon does not even have... Well, he has the resources to go for a few bailings, but even if he has the bailings, what's going to happen? The cannon yeah. is ready. He's, if he breaks the pylon, that's all he can get, but he with slow links will never be able to run by. two sentries by now. He's yeah. even getting the third sentry, and the warp gate technology is nearly done. He didn't even get a queen, so he doesn't have a lot of larvae to use. I mean, he is... He's, he's done, basically. I mean... The, 
He's gonna try. I don't know what exactly it is that he will do next, but he's supply blocked even at 18. The harvest account here is 9 to 24, so the economy for JYP is great. He's going for a starport transition here. His warp in technology is already done, so he can start to warp in units, can warp in a couple of sentries. Moon is scouting this. He will be aware of what exactly is going on, but what can he do right now? He's trying to join up, he's trying to start some kind of follow up, but at this point, this is just a hopeless endeavor. Yep, and these two zealots are not really to do damage. They're to scout whether he made a natural, and they want to, if there's nothing there, force more lings, because he doesn't know how many lings Moon has made, but I mean, if he gets into the main base, he will actually just do so much damage. Oh, this is this is just not good for Moon. Hwani taking a gamble here, sending Moon out regardless against JYP. Then he's taking an even, even bigger gamble with the build. Like I said, he just wants to check the natural. He sees there's no natural here. What's he going to do? He's just going to make Void Rays. He knows that the Queen count is going to be severely low. And look at this. There's nothing to stop him. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. There is definitely nothing on the map. Slowlings are on their way home. Yeah. But they're, I mean, he's just going to lose mining with the drones he doesn't really have. He just tried to damage the Queen a little bit because he knows that his Void Rays will definitely be able to do some damage here. And I don't see any chance for Moon to win this. Well, the problem for him right now is if JYP, the only thing that JYP has to do is move in with one Void Ray and uh, one uh, um, Phoenix. One Phoenix, that's it. He's actually, interestingly enough, making a second Void Ray, which I find kind of strange considering what he scouted, but it doesn't really matter because what can Moon do against even this? I mean, not even Demago could make this work with slow banelings and slow wings, honestly. He's supply block now, he can't get additional queens, there's no evolution chain, but there are no spore crawlers. The queen is already damaged by the zealots, a smart move by JYP, by the way. He's trying to attack here, but this queen is going to die. Moon is not even going to prepare for those void rays, and they are, well, they are going to take this base apart. Yep, queen's gonna die, and then he can kill whatever he wants. That's Starts exactly another queen, but... There's a second Voidry already coming across the map. And the Phoenix as a follow-up. The Queen is dead, and this Voidray will have a lot of fun. Well, he's smartly making an evolution chamber as that will be the only answer. GG! What a one-sided battle. I mean, Moon had the opportunity to break through. Unfortunately, was scouted early. Great defense by JYP, and then once that happened, there was no follow-up. That was the definition of an all-in, and it was an all-in yeah. that failed. Exactly. He did not try to follow it up uh, on, uh, with only a few circlings. He realized that his opponent scouted him early, which was the worst-case scenario for him uh, on such a big map. And well, right now, suddenly Fnatic is down three maps already. Yeah, this is not a happy bench, as you can see. Not a single player on that bench looking in high spirits. JYP, though, he is already on a roll. He's got to be feeling good about this. Being a starting player, you never expect to get three victories quite like this. You know, holding off two all-ins in a row, you've got to feel great. Yeah. You have dealt with basically two snipe builds, one after another. And right now, you've got to be feeling on top of the world. Like, nobody can stop me. Nobody wants to play a straight-up game against me. And the games they tried against me, I shut them down twice in a row. It's got to feel amazing. And for Fnatic, this is... I mean, this is really bad. You already lost Bial, you lost Moon, so suddenly you have another Zerg uh, sitting on the bench, of course, but still. Moon, one of the top players in the team. Bial, one of the players that performed really well in the GSTL. So now they have to rely on Oz, they have to rely on Alive. But yeah. what are they going to do? Are they able to take JYP down and then take down another few of the Slayers players? Because everything is going like everything is going great for Slayers here. Yeah. They are in the perfect position. They already took down three players of Fnatic. And three strong players Yeah. Like that. Now, the question is, I mean, you don't want to send out, you mentioned there's another Zerg, that's Departure. You don't want to send someone who's inexperienced out. In this situation, you don't want to send out Ares either. It's going to have to be Alive and Oz, 100%. And in which order do you send them? I think Alive first. But that's a, that's a tough choice to make for anybody. The next map is going to, de uh, to be Daybreak. We already have the map and we're just waiting for the player to be announced. But this is definitely not how Fnatic envisioned this team batch to start today. So... I think that's tough. That's really tough, right? Yeah. Now. And with the map choice Daybreak, actually, I think we're going to see Oz because most Terrans in Korea have complained that they do not like late game Terran versus Protoss on this map. It's hard for them to expand, they feel, and the upgrades just really show through. Storms are great on this map as well with the wide natural. We'll see. Uh, I'm actually, I'm really feeling a little bit stressed out for the Fnatic team. They have a few choices left and they're going to have to make them right now. All sitting to the top left. Who is it going to be? Live in the middle, and it is it's Oz. Oz. Yeah, like I said, not want to play a Terran on this map, not on Daybreak, not against a Protoss, and JYP, man, his expression has not changed. 
Not for a second. Like I said, he's got to feel on top of the world. And he is going to have to play a Pros vs. Pros against Oz once. One of the kings of Pros vs. Pros, but recently has not been as successful. JYP did everything that was expected from him and even more, so now he has to be really relaxed about it. Oz, as you just pointed out, has to step it up now. He has to make sure that at, at least JYP is going down. That's the one thing that they have to do, because if JYP is taking the game against Oz, then suddenly, I mean, what, what's going to stop EG Slayers then? No, I mean... Even Only alive can try, but he can't kill them all, I don't think. I don't think so either. We've seen crazy comebacks, we've seen crazy all kills, but that would be quite the accomplishment here. Well, this is such a tense moment. Oz looks ready in the booth, though. It looks like he has prepared for this moment. We are going to have a five-minute break. He'll have just that much time to prepare. When we get back, we're going to see if JYP will continue his streak here at the GSTL with Calder and Wolf.